Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Sorry we're a couple of minutes late, but thank you all for joining us today for the Jefferson Parish 2020 inauguration. I personally know everyone getting sworn in today, and I can promise you that the voters chose wisely. They're going to lead with a keen intellect, a great compassion for our parish, and hopefully they have some fun while doing it. So thank you all for judging, or for coming, and give one big round. <laughs> they got judges here. They got one big round of applause for our electors before we get started. So to kick off today, obviously to honor our country, can you please welcome the Jefferson Parish Sheriff's Office Honor Guard for the presentation of colors. Please rise. And may I present Sarah Jane McMahon to sing our national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. Wow. Would you please remain standing and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance. I was going to sing the national anthem, but I figured I'd just let Sarah do it. <laughs> so that was wonderful, <laughs> beautiful. Uh, may, I, may I introduce, please, uh, Reverend Tim Hedrick, Father Tim from St. Catherine, for our invocation. Father? Let us remember that we are always in God's holy presence. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this joyful day. We thank you for the opportunity to gather as a community to welcome our newly elected civil officials. We thank you for the men and women who are completing their term in office. We ask you to bless them abundantly for their commitment and their selfless service to our local community. As we gather to install our parish president, Cynthia Lee Shang, our sheriff, our parish council members, and all of our newly elected officials, we thank you for their willingness to serve the people of Jefferson Parish. As they serve our community, we ask that you bless them with wisdom and prudence 
temperance, and humility. Guide them as they seek to serve the common good. As we gather today, we pray in a special way for peace throughout the world, but especially between the United States of America and Iran. Make us a channel of your peace. We ask all these things in your name, for you are God, living and reigning forever and ever. Amen. Thank you, Father. And again, welcome, everyone. Hope everybody had a great Christmas and a wonderful New Year. And we still believe in our who that's, right? And go Tigers? Awesome. So great time to be in New Orleans. Thanks again for joining. I know we have a bunch of elected officials throughout our parish and the other areas, not only on stage, but here in the audience. And I think some guests visiting from our brother and sister parishes around. So to all the electeds that took some time to come today, we thank you all very, very much. We're going to get right into the program. Uh, on this really special day for some really good people. So to begin, uh, the first to be sworn in today is our coroner, Dr. Jerry Satanovich, who is being sworn, sworn in by attorney Chuck Credo. Gentlemen. Oh, of course. Family and children, come on up. Now listen, if you have to see the coroner, make sure you do it at the family restaurant and not at his office. That's bad. While we're waiting for them to come up, I'll tell you. Um, this morning, I, I, you know, coming in, I felt a lot of pressure to say something funny, you know, you know, say or do something funny. But that's before I found out that Mr. Capella was the master of ceremonies. So I, I think he's going to take care of that. All right. Let's see. I think we got it. Let's pull that a little. See that mic pull it a little further. There you go. Okay. All right. Doc, this is the oath of office for the coroner's office. Please raise your right hand. I state your name. I, Jerry Satanovich. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution. That I will support the Constitution. And laws of the United States. And laws of the United States. And the Constitution and laws of this state. And the Constitution and laws of this state that I will faithfully and impartially discharge that I will faithfully and impartially discharge and perform and perform all the duties incumbent upon me all the duties incumbent of me as coroner as coroner according to the best of my ability according to the best of my ability and understanding and understanding so help me god so help me god congratulations doc thank you Right. So, um, oh, oh, excuse me. Well, they they hustled off the uh, uh, the stage here, but let me say that was uh, with me, my mom and uh, my, my very famous brother, Tommy. Uh, I'll always be the less famous brother. Um, and three of my, and my beautiful wife, Heidi, I'm sorry, I left her out, and that's a, my biggest mistake uh, already today. It was quick. Uh, but I have three of my four kids with me this morning. Uh, that was the, uh, Maya, uh, Caroline, and little Drago. I have a fourth child, and she's a very serious student, and she begged to be able to go to school today. Uh, my other three children want to sincerely thank the parish administration for having this during a school day. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to take one minute to tell you about your coroner's office. Um, it's the best in this state. It's accredited by the National Association of Medical Examiners. It's the only one in Louisiana that's accredited. They do a great job in difficult circumstances. Um, we have three functions. Everybody knows we are investigating death to determine cause and manner of death. Additionally, we do evidence collection in sexual assaults, that's rapes, adult, pediatric, male, female. 
The last and not least by any stretch of the imagination is mental health. We're in charge of all involuntary mental health commitments in the parish. You know, it's three very uh, important but very sad functions. Uh, they're done by a, a very dedicated team and professional team and a few of them are here with, uh, with me today. I don't know where they are, but please guys stand and be recognized. You, where y'all at? Yeah, they're way in the back there. But it's a, it's a thankless job and I wanna make sure that we recognize the people that work in that office. Um, and last, um, I wanna make sure that, you know, I look at everybody on this stage and congratulate them and their families on their election. I am extremely excited about the new administration, the new parish president, and our new council. Um, you know, you, we deserve the best, and I want to congratulate them in advance on the job they're going to do, because I've got a lot of faith in them, and I hope you do too. Have a great day. Thank you all for coming today. Well done, Doc. You forgot your wife. Everything's going to be fine at home, I promise. <laughs> Took the flowers and <laughs> out the door. <laughs> Next up to be sworn in is our wonderful clerk of court, John Gegenheimer. Um, a little tidbit, I had the honor of working for John before I went to law school uh, way back when, and he was already the clerk of court, so he's been here a long time, does a wonderful job. He's going to be sworn in today by the Honorable Jay Zane, he Judge, United States District Court for the Eastern District of Louisiana and a Jefferson Parish resident. I'm just going to say a couple of words, if you don't mind. If my, I might have leave of court, Mr. Capella. I again have the privilege and honor of swearing in my good friend, John Gegenheimer. This is going to be the beginning, beginning of John's ninth term as Jefferson Parish Clerk of Court. He actually became Clerk of Court back in 1987 when Madam President Lee Chang uh, and uh, Councilwoman Van Franken and Councilman Impostata, I think we're in kindergarten. So uh, <laughs> they've come a long way, not that you're that old. Oh, though Councilman uh, Marion Edwards, of course, I think has been around for a little bit longer. <laughs> but, th but then again, uh, we do appreciate John continuing in his role in developing wonderful, wonderful, wonderful ways in which to continue to serve the citizens of Jefferson Parish. Now for the swearing in. Raise your right hand, please. I, John A. Gegenheimer. I, John A. Gegenheimer. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution and laws. That I will support the Constitution and laws. Of the United States. Of the United States. And the Constitution and laws of Louisiana. And the Constitution and laws of Louisiana. And that I will faithfully and impartially. And that I will faithfully and impartially. Discharge and perform all the duties incumbent upon me. Discharge and perform all the duties incumbent upon me. As Jefferson Parish Clerk of Court as Jefferson Parish Clerk of Court. According to the best of my ability and understanding. According to the best of my ability and understanding. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank John. you, my friend. You. Thank all of you. Uh, we really can't see y'all, so uh, if, we, if we kind of blink as we look out there, that's, that's the reason. Before I begin the, the speech, as Jay said, I've been here for a while, so it's going to take me a little while to go over what we've been able to, accompli to accomplish over the last um, eight terms. And we couldn't have done that without the assistance of our wonderful employees and our supervisors some of whom are able to be here today and I can't see out there, so please stand, those of you who are here, uh, to be recognized. Thank you all, I see you now. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Before uh, I began my first term, my team and I formulated a four-year comprehensive plan designed to restore solvency and efficiency to a bankrupt and disorganized clerk of court's office. We would do that by eliminating wasteful spending, streamlining our operations, and responsibly managing the office funds. And by the end of the first term, the office was in the black, 
But beyond that, it was a competent, public-friendly enterprise that would provide the citizens of Jefferson Parish, the parish government, the bench, the bar, and all the other justice system agencies the exemplary service they deserve. Over the ensuing years, we have continued to plan and turn innovative ideas into action by first and foremost embracing technology and applying it in five major areas. We develop computer programs to enable electronic filing, storage, and retrieval of all the court and land records documents available online. There are no longer any sheets of paper in the clerk of court's office. Our electronic digitized records are immune to deterioration and damage and destruction by vandalism, storms, flooding, fire, theft, forgery, or what have you. That is a good thing because all of the court records and the land records, which includes your property deeds, surveys, contracts, and leases, are absolutely safe and secure. So your marriage licenses and other documents that are so important to every one of you. Now, in order to convert to electronic format all the paper generated since 1825, that's the year that the parish was founded, we have imaged over 150 million pages of court and land records. That was an enormous and ambitious project, but it produced uh, immense cost savings and eliminated forever the storage problems associated with vast amounts of paper. Now, let's put 150 million pages in perspective. If we stacked 150 million pages, the stack would be 50,000 feet or nine and a half miles high. That's almost twice the height of Mount Everest and 20,000 feet above the cruising altitude of passenger airliners. 150 million pages weighs one and a half million pounds or 750 tons. That's quite a load to store at the courthouse and at offsite warehouses where bad things always can happen. Then we developed and implemented an electronic paperless trial procedure. Technology driven court proceedings are highly efficient and consume far less time than hearings and trials saddled with paper. Away from the courthouse today, judges can electronically sign orders and judgments from wherever they might be. Next, we enhanced the already computerized jury management system by creating a comprehensive jury database of each eligible citizen's jury service history. This important feature promotes fairness in jury selection, jury selection and service. Additionally, we added a unique feature that allows a summoned juror to reschedule his or her service and to select a date that is convenient. And we developed a data-driven procedure that has enabled us to summon fewer jurors. Since its inception, that procedure has saved the parish over $1.2 million in juror compensation costs, and it has lessened the disruptive impact of jury service on our citizens. Our one-day, one-trial jury service requirement, implemented years ago, is among the earliest of its kind anywhere in the country. Nowhere else do jurors serve for a shorter period of time than in Jefferson Parish. We computerized the office's accounting operations. Due to this crucial software development, we have, over the years, refunded $54.5 million in unused court cost to lawyers and their clients. Now that's money that's pumped back into the pockets of those who will spend or invest it and thereby help grow our local economy. All of these accomplishments have not gone unnoticed. The Louisiana Supreme Court uh, Chief Justice Burnett Johnson called the Jefferson Parish Clerk of Courts Office, quote, the gold standard in the court administrative arena.
The Jefferson Parish Council has issued three proclamations honoring us for our achievements. Harvard University presented to us its 2012 Bright Ideas Award for advances in election reporting technology. We received the prestigious G. Thomas Munsterman Award from the National Center of State Courts for Innovative Jury Administration. And the International Association of Government Officials gave us two Best Practices Awards for our mobile app and Jeff Clerk Alerts technology. All of that, all of that is past. Positive change must be a continual, never-ending process. So more innovation, born of rich ideas, is on the way. In closing, I must say that all those awards I just uh, told you about are not special because the clerk's office won them. They're special because we accepted them on behalf of the Jefferson Parish Administration and Council, the parish's courts, and all the other agencies we have worked so closely with, including the sheriff, the district attorney, the public defender, the assessor, and the coroner, all of whom deserve considerable credit for making our parish one of Louisiana's finest. Thank you for allowing all of us to serve. I don't want to say John's old, but I can see everybody fine, so <laughs> just teasing. Well done, Chief. <laughs> Great job. Uh, next up to be sworn in is our fantastic Sheriff Joseph Lepinto III. He's going to be sworn in by the Honorable Stephen Windhorst Judge from the Louisiana Fifth Circuit Court of Appeal. And although Joe carries a big gun and he's a sheriff at home with those twins, we know who the real boss is. Look at these two. Sheriff, thank you for this honor. Ready? Yes. I, Joseph P. Lepinto III. I, Joseph P. Lepinto III. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution and the laws of the United States. That I will support the Constitution and laws of the United States. And the Constitution and laws of Louisiana. And the Constitution and laws of Louisiana. That I will faithfully and impartially discharge and perform. That I will faithfully and impartially discharge and perform. All duties incumbent upon me as sheriff. All duties incumbent upon me as sheriff. For the parish of Jefferson. For the parish of Jefferson. According to the best of my ability and understanding. According to the best of my ability so and help, understanding. So help me God. So help me God. Thank you, Josh. Thank you. Jerry, just so you know, I'm sending mine back to school. So, you know, I was sitting here listening to um, Clerk Gegenheimer's speech. It made me think that he had a, a whole bunch of accomplishments over the last term, but you still couldn't get me out of jury duty. So, you know, um, y'all, th this is my third swearing in in 28 months, so I will be brief. Uh, you know, really want to thank my wife, my children, my family, you know, for always uh, enduring. Uh, the profession that I've chose, you know, during with the late night phone calls, the weekend phone calls, getting called out in the middle of the night, whatever the case may be, uh, but always being there supporting me. Uh, you know, I, I have the best job in the world. I have no doubt about it. I uh, enjoy serving the citizens of Jefferson Parish every single day. I look forward uh, to working with this council, this administration, uh, for the future of Jefferson Parish. I believe that future is bright. Uh, we're continuing to move in the right direction in all categories that we need to. Uh, that's, a, that's a good sign for us. Uh, but it comes down for the Jefferson Parish Sheriff's Office is the employees that I work with. Uh, the employees that I work with every single day do a phenomenal job here in this parish. Uh, premier law enforcement agency in the country. Uh, doing the job correctly. Using old fashioned and new fashioned police work in order to solve crime. Solve crime quickly to prevent the next crime from happening. That's what you see. You know, but that support doesn't come without the support of the citizens, the people right here in this room. What I really want to do is thank y'all. 
Thank the citizens of Jefferson Parish to let us be policemen. Let us do our job. Let us go out there and have the support and feel the support of the community. Give us the information when you see crime. Call us immediately when you see something and let us go out there and work. It's something that we feel proudly about and we're happy to serve. Thank you all very much. Appreciate it. I'm sorry, I was hearing Father Tim's confession back there. <laughs> we're back. But well done, Sheriff. And again, the women, ladies and men of the Jefferson Parish Sheriff's Office, it's the reason, one of the main reasons we all live here. They do an unbelievable job. So congratulations, Sheriff Lepinto. Uh, and now we're turning to the, let's get to the council side um, to introduce uh, and swear in Ricky Templet, Councilman at Large, Division A, is his son, Ryan Templet, with the assistance of his father, Mr. Russell template. Uh, Judge Sullivan from the 24th was going to uh, swear in Ricky, but uh, he couldn't make it today. I know Ricky's going to talk about that. So he has his son and his daddy to come and do it. Please place your left hand on the Bible and raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, state your name. I, Ricky James Templet. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I'll support the Constitution and the laws of the United States. I'll support the Constitution and the laws of the United States. And the Constitution and laws of this state. And the Constitution and laws of this state. And that I'll faithfully and impartially. I will faithfully and impartially discharge and perform discharge and perform all the duties incumbent upon me all the duties incumbent upon me as Jefferson Parish Councilman at Large as Jefferson Parish Councilman at Large according to the best of my ability and understanding the best of my ability and understanding so help me God so help me God congratulations thank you I do want to say real fast, I, 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 we were sworn in today with a family Bible from state back to my family since 1888. And I'm uh, just proud to be able to have this from one of my family members allowed me to use it for this swearing in ceremony and it's very special. And real fast, just want to say thank you to all of y'all for being here this morning and actually taking time to share your morning with us in a special occasion. I know everybody's got businesses and family that they need to attend to, and so it really means a lot that you took your time to come out this morning and share this with us. Uh, I just want to make note, if you'll notice your program, uh, it, it, it said that I was going to be sworn in this morning by Judge Henry Sullivan, which couldn't be with us this morning. So if you could keep his family uh, and him in your prayers, uh, we would appreciate that. You know, Henry uh, is a great friend, uh, a great gentleman, and uh, ha has been a great scholar of our, our community. So please keep his family in, in your prayers. Uh, I want to say thank you to my son and, uh, and my father, which uh, stepped up here today with us, is 80, 83 years old in November. Uh, and Dad, thank you for so much for being here and proud to have you still here with us and, and love you very much. Just let me say, this is a great day for Jefferson Parish. Uh, I guess my, myself as Joe, we've been sworn in many times as off, in office. Uh, actually, we, when we first got here, he commented, you know, uh, years ago, he and I were sworn in together in Baton Rouge as a state legislator. So we've been sworn in many times to office. And so, the, you know, this, this becomes, uh, uh, I'd like to keep it short, but it's kind of hard to with so much to mention. Um, you know, um, Jefferson Parish and the new council, uh, I, I think we have such a great direction we're moving into, uh, working closely with the four new members and our new parish president, Cynthia Lee Shang, who is, I'm very proud to be able to have served the last eight years with, but now we're serving with you, Cynthia, as president. And I'm proud to say, I know you never tutored this, but we're the first woman president of Jefferson Parish. Let's please. <laughs> And, 
and, and, and just looking for good things and promise of our, our future in Jefferson Parish. You know, I've had the opportunity to serve for the eight last years uh, as Councilman of District 1 for Jefferson Parish, and, uh, and I'm looking forward uh, to the future as representing uh, as Councilman at Large for Jefferson Parish. It was very humbling to be elected without opposition. Uh, I want to make sure I thank uh, all the support I had getting to that place, uh, getting uh, opposed, unopposed from the citizens, from the people who stood behind me and worked hard with me and gave me courage uh, to step out to run for the parish at large seat. And uh, very humbling, and I promise I will not let the people of Jefferson Parish down. I will work hard each and every day. Uh, my colleagues, uh, in the last four to eight years, especially the last four years, we have had a lot of accomplishments. We have moved a lot of items uh, and proactive items uh, throughout this parish. And I just wanted to mention a few of them. You know, we've been very law, law enforcement, uh, proactive law enforcement. Joe, working with you personally, uh, and your men and women who protect us each and every day, thank you for what you do because we could build all the new streets in the world, all the new sidewalks uh, in Jefferson Parish we want. But if, if it's not safe to walk down those sidewalks and it's not safe to drive down those streets, we don't have the parish we have. So, so thank you very much for all you do in law enforcement. Thank you. Quality of life issues. There's many to mention. Each district takes great effort into making sure they address the quality of life issues that directly impact their neighbors and friends. Uh, one initiative that we took on uh, as a council as a whole, we, uh, was the Terrytown uh, Initiative Housing Study to where, uh, and this was spearheaded by Cynthia Lee Shang, and we ran with it after, uh, where we're looking at the, the aging housing stock we have in Jefferson Parish and trying to rehab that and keep people here in Jefferson Parish. And the study was just adopted at the last council meeting and it's moving forward, Cynthia. So thank you once again. Um, we've been very proactive with economic development. Uh, in the last year, in the last four years, we've had over a billion dollars economic development here in Jefferson Parish, from the Fuji oil plant to the Avondale Marine Facility to U.S. Foods and Ashna Hospital. We as a council, we as an administration, we as a people have been able to do these projects. The parish just announced six months ago that we have one of the greatest bond ratings in the state of Louisiana. We announced that we had a double-A rating, not just one of the best in Jefferson Parish, but one of the best in, in, in America. And that's, once again, working with the administration and my fellow colleagues to make this happen. I just want to make sure that, you know, you keep saying, hearing me say we, um, because none of this gets done alone. Uh, we all work together to make Jefferson Parish a better place. You know, I, and I got to say this, you know, uh, I have an a, a advisor uh, and someone I look up to has always told me, don't worry about the, the mule, just load the wagon. Uh, and, and every time we had more to do and try to accomplish more, and it would just always say, don't worry about the mule, just load the wagon. And at one point, I learned that we're all going to pull this wagon together if we want to make things happen. And that's what we've done here in Jefferson Parish. Uh, we all have the same common goal, every one of us. Uh, we all want to have Jefferson Parish be a great place to live, work, and play so we could all raise our families. You know, uh, Ronald Reagan said it best. There is no limit to the amount of good you can do if you don't care who gets the credit. And, and, and I believe that. Today we can continue to make Jefferson Parish a better place. Uh, I'm very passionate about families because if you look around this room, that's what we're all about, families, friends, and our community. And that's what we're trying to do is make Jefferson Parish a better place for all of us to live. Uh, and I am determined to work with my colleagues now in the future and the administration to make sure things keep moving in a progressive way. I'd like to make sure I say thank you to my friends and family uh, for all the support and help uh, 
backing all the crazy ideas I've done in my life, and I will tell you, running for politics is one of those. Uh, I, I didn't grow up wanting to be a politician. It evolved that way. And without the support of my family, without the for, uh, support of my friends, and without the support of my staff, uh, which are here in the room today, uh, that serve each and every day to make Jefferson Parish a better place to live, it would not happen. I would like to call on real fast. Uh, I did this la la four years ago, and I, I, it, I, I'm, I'm always passionate about uh, our, our families just as well as everyone else. I, I just have a small gift. I got kind of criticized or laughed at a little bit because I gave my son last time flowers uh, at, at this event. So this time, my son, uh, I want to say thank you for swearing me in. Thank you for being my best friend. You have been my fishing buddy, my hunting buddy. You have helped run my campaign, and you couldn't do better than you did this year because I went unopposed. So, so thank, <laughs> thank you very much. My, my wife uh, has always been my backbone. You know, we were childhood sweethearts. Uh, I was at a Sweet 16 birthday party. Uh, I'm not going to tell you. Uh, uh, I'll tell you, we're going on 35 years married now, and she is my rock, uh, my girlfriend, my best friend, and uh, life, uh, I could not imagine life without her, and love you very much, and thank you. And, and from uh, the, my most favorite little girl in the whole wide world, uh, that, that actually makes our life pretty interesting day to day, I want to say, Abby, love you very much and very proud of you. Thank you. Thank you all. Well, well, just in closing, I, I, I would just like to say, um, it, you know, the, the parish is moving in the right direction. Uh, I will tell you, I'll stand here before you all to my colleagues, uh, to the parish president, and to the citizens of Jefferson Parish. I make the commitment before you today to continue to work to make Jefferson Parish a better place to live, work, and play. And I will continue to do it with the courage, the commitment, and the common sense to make Jefferson Parish a better place to live. And all I'd like to say is God bless Jefferson Parish. God bless America, and don't forget, go Tigers. Wait, 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 wait. real fast. I, I, told, I told Tommy when I first came in today, I was the only one that voted against having him be an MC this day. <laughs> okay, all right. You finished? That Bible's from 1880, what year, Ricky? 1888. 1888, that's the one that Mr. Tim Coulon got sworn in when he was the first Paris president. <laughs> All right, uh, next up to be sworn in is, uh, is actually a rookie. Uh, it's going to be his first time to be sworn in as councilman at large. It's Scott Walker. He is being sworn in by the Honorable Judge Hans Logeberg from the Louisiana Fifth Circuit. Uh, Court of Appeal, and you know Scott's going to be nervous because he's never been in front of a camera before. Um, first of all, I want to I want to thank Scott and Jennifer for asking me to to be here. It's a pleasure and and an honor to be here. Uh, if I may, I, I know uh, y'all are anxious to hear me talk because um, Ricky was so brief. Uh, <laughs> But I'll share a brief story with you because I think it's kind of important. I, uh, I, met, I actually met Scott in, the, in this most recent campaign cycle. He was running, obviously, for council at large, and I was running for uh, Supreme Court. When I, when I met him, I, I crashed one of his fundraisers, and uh, it, it was not very well attended. And I said, why, why, you, you, know, why are you running for, for council at large? He said, well, I, I wanted to run for, for, council, for district council person but the incumbent uh, was seeking re-election, so I thought I'd run for council at large. And I thought to myself, uh, well, with that kind of logic and, uh, and the fact that this fundraiser is not very well attended, he's, he's, he's got a real good shot. <laughs> so I'll be swearing him in, he won't be swearing me in. Um,
I, Scott Walker. I, Scott Walker. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution and laws. That I will support the Constitution and laws. Of the United States. Of the United States. And the Constitution and laws of this state. And the Constitution and laws of this state. And that I will faithfully and impartially. And that I will faithfully and impartially. Discharge and perform. Discharge and perform. All the duties incumbent upon me. All the duties incumbent upon me. As Councilman at Large Division B. As Councilman at Large Division B. According to the best of my ability and understanding. According according to the best of my ability and understanding. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, first of all, thank you for dealing with the change in the program. Judge Liljeburg had to get to court, so he only could push it back to 1130. So we had to get us done, or else I wouldn't have had anybody to swear me in. Thank you all for coming this morning. And raise your hand if you thought I'd be here today. <laughs> My mom and dad don't count. It is an honor to be here standing before you this morning. I am thankful for this opportunity to serve the people of Jefferson Parish. I'm thankful for the many blessings, challenges, and obstacles that God has put before me along the way because they've all led me to right here. Not a lot of people get to do this job. I'm very mindful of that, and I have great respect for the office that I'm entering. First, I want to thank all the people who believed in my campaign from the very beginning. That list is not long. <laughs> my wife, Jennifer who I've been married to for 19 years and is the glue of our family, especially while I was out running around, running for public office. She's amazing. I could not do life without her. My two children, Jack and Beckett, unlike the sheriff's kids, got to skip school today. <laughs> I wouldn't have done this without the okay of this 14 and 10-year-old advisory committee. They mean the world to me. At one point, they told me at different times they were tired of all the political ads. I said, well, at least I know you're not talking about mine, because there were none. <laughs> my parents are here, Bob and Judy. My mom, a retired school teacher who it seems taught everyone at some point. My dad, a retired radio DJ at WTIX and other stations over the years, who everyone it seems listened to growing up. I heard a lot about them during the campaign, and I know they won me a lot of votes. So don't underestimate their impact and influence on my life and my presence here today. Thank you both. My sister and her husband, my brother and his fiance, thank you. My in-laws, thank you. Some of my best friends from college are here today, thank you too. They all believed in this. And why wouldn't they, right? We had no money, the former TV guy couldn't get on TV, and we were outspent by a huge margin. No brainer. But they were all with me, and I greatly appreciate that. A special shout out to somebody who's now on my staff, Ashley Ellis, uh, the first who really bought into this campaign full-fledged. Her late uncle Tom and I were friends for more than 20 years during my TV days before he passed away in 2018. And shortly after his funeral, Ashley just sort of dropped into my life, almost as if he put her there. And I'm pretty sure without her blind faith, and really blind faith, she had no idea what she was getting into, this campaign never would have gotten off the ground or been what it became. So thank you, Ashley. The others who led this campaign, Victoria Kulon, Kevin Stewart, David Zoller, helped build a true grassroots effort. My team worked really hard. We were all over the parish and talked to as many people as we could. I knew we could run this campaign differently and be successful, because we had to. We didn't raise $100,000 before the election. That is unheard of in a parish-wide race. Aside from money, running parish-wide is tough. I actually tried to compare notes with Ricky during the campaign at some point, but then remembered he had an opponent for 20 minutes. So we didn't get to talk much during the campaign. But since the campaign, since the campaign, um, Ricky and I have met with Senator Bill Cassidy. We talked about coastal restoration and other issues that are important to Jefferson Parish and affect Jefferson Parish. So I look forward to collaborating with Ricky on some exciting projects. I'm moving into Cynthia's office, 
and she has been an amazing help to us while dealing with her own transition. Thank you very much for that. Uh, after the election, we had a meeting, and I asked her if the outgoing at-large member leaves a note behind or something for the incoming member. And I told her, don't worry about it. As long as you leave some of the Harry Lee bobbleheads behind that are all over the office, <laughs> we'll be in good shape. And did, did you take care of that? Okay. We're good. Really, thank you for everything, and I look forward to working with you. And shout out to St. Angela Marisi, because we both went to elementary school there. Everyone we've met with, current council members, new members, parish staff, has been tremendous. Thank you, and I look forward to getting to know all of you better. During the campaign, I said, I do not overpromise, but I do promise this. I will only work for the people of Jefferson Parish. My staff and I will be reachable and responsive. We will listen. We did things differently during the campaign, and that resonated. We will continue to be different. You'll get to know this incredible staff that I've been fortunate enough to put together over the past several weeks. Brian, Ashley, Mark, Paris, Kim, and Ava. I will always work to do what's in the best interest of the people of this parish. I'm committed to Jefferson Parish. I grew up here. My kids are growing up here. I have two businesses here. I'm really excited about our future. And this election was about just that, our future. And you've heard other people talk about this already. And it's not because we compared notes. It's because we all genuinely believe in what we're saying right now. It's about the future. It's about my kids, your kids, future generations in Jefferson Parish. It is our job to make Jefferson a great place for them to live, work, and play. Ricky might have taken that from me. A place that offers abundant opportunities both professionally and personally. A place that makes it easy to do business. A place that incentivizes businesses and residents to improve their home or move into our parish. Things are good in Jefferson Parish, but how great can we be? It starts with all the people on this stage, and I have an abundant amount of confidence in everybody that's sitting up here right now. This council has expressed a genuine desire to work together and get things done. So let's get to work and get out of the way. Thank you very much for being here today, and thank you to all the voters of Jefferson Parish. did that without a teleprompter. It was awesome. <laughs> and he just said, if you bring your program, three dozen Shipley's Donuts for everybody tomorrow. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. Kidding. <laughs> Let's get into the district areas now. Uh, next to be uh, sworn in today is uh, retired Judge Marion Edwards for Councilman of District 1. Uh, the judge will be sworn in by Belinda Constant, who is the mayor of the great city of Gretna. Little tidbit, I was Marion Edwards, the judge's first law clerk, and that's the reason he left the bench. Raise your right hand. I, Marion F. Edwards. I, Marion F. Edwards. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution and laws of this state. And the Constitution and laws of this state. And that I will faithfully and impartially. And that I will faithfully and impartially. Discharge and perform. Discharge and perform. All the duties incumbent upon me. All the duties incumbent upon me as Jefferson Parish Councilman, District 1. As Jefferson Parish Councilman, District 1. According to the best of my ability and understanding. According to the best of my ability and understanding. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you. You know, this is pretty much the story of my life. I have to follow a TV star. <laughs> you know, it's uh, very pleasing to me that I, I get to be here today with my brother John, who has spent a good deal of his life helping me dispel the rumor that I'm Edwin Edwards' brother. <laughs> and Mayor Belinda Constant, uh, who was my court reporter when I was in the district attorney's office and she was my secretary when I was on the bench 
and she and her family have over the years become my family. And thank you, Belinda, for being here for me today. I'm here because of my friends, and I've said that before. Uh, anything that I've accomplished, it's been, been because of my friends. Uh, I just want to say from my heart, thank you. I'm also delighted today to have my dear friend of many years and mentor, former District Attorney John Mamalitas, with us today. Thank you, John, for being here. I can't tell you how excited I am. <laughs> I can't tell you how excited I am to be part of this council and this administration. I can feel the call to public service that I see in each of them is going to bring us together and you're going to see a united council. You're going to see us united with the administration you're going to see us working together with all of the elected officials in and outside of Jefferson Parish with one goal, to make Jefferson Parish better. It is my fervent hope that in the sea of turmoil that surrounds us, we can become an island of tranquility. I truly believe that you're going to see this council administration unified that we're going to be working to make Jefferson Parish better. And we're going to do that with respect, respect for each other and res respect for our constituents. I hope that when we leave office, we can look back on our term and say that we have left Jefferson Parish better than we found it, and that we have done that collectively. I promise you that I and my staff will be available to you, we will be transparent, and we will be working hard with the rest of the council members. This was not something that I necessarily expected to do. If you look back at my resume, you'd say, this has to be a guy that couldn't keep a job but I'm very excited to be where I am, and I'm looking forward to four years of production and hope that I am able to do the job that this parish needs me to do. I do want to take a moment and thank Sonny Burmaster and his staff for putting this together for us and making it easy for us. Sonny, thank you so much for all you've done here. It's been great. You know, Tommy Capella said that he was my first law clerk, and, and he was uh, about 15 minutes as soon as he realized he was going to have to work if he was my law clerk. <laughs> I knew he was on the way out. <laughs> but Tommy, you know, I've always enjoyed picking on you, but let me just tell you that I'm very proud of what you've accomplished. Again, thank you for being here. Thank you, those that have helped me, and I appreciate this opportunity. Father Tim's still confessing. You should have heard that last one. <laughs> and thank you for those wonderful words, uh, boss. You're going to do a great job. Um, next up is Councilman for District 2, uh, Dino Bonanno. It's Irish, huh, Dino? <laughs> Dino is a great friend. We worked together when I was on the council, and the parish is in really, really good hands uh, with him. Dino is going to be sworn in uh, by former parish president Tim Coulon with the 1888 Bible. I have to admit, when Tommy opens his mouth relating to me, it's usually old man, uh, several terms of endearment. So that was one of the nicer things you said. So. Uh, Thank you, and thank Dino and his family for allowing me to be a part of his family for so many years, and today culmination to the great ceremony and a recognition of his job uh, as future par parish councilman of District 2. And Dino, if you 
would raise your right hand and follow me, follow me like you have done for many years. Not so, so much, but I state your name. I, Dino Bonanno. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution and laws. That I will support the Constitution and laws. Of the United States. Of the United States. And the Constitution and laws of this state. And the Constitution and laws of this state. And that I will faithfully and impartially discharge. And that I will faithfully and impartially discharge. And perform all duties incumbent on me. And then perform all duties incumbent upon me. As Jefferson Parish District 2 Councilman. As Jefferson Parish District 2 Councilman. According to the best of my ability and understanding. According to the best of my ability and understanding. So help me God. So help me God. Thank you. Thank you. Before I get started, I have to talk about my longtime friend, Judge Hans Logeberg. Hans and I started working together a long time ago when he was assistant parish attorney. And as I was sitting there, I said, man, Hans is really great. But then it dawned on me, he's got seven daughters. That would give any father gray hair. <laughs> First of all, I'd like to thank my family, my wife, Jackie, my son, Mason, my middle son, Evan, who unfortunately cannot be here today, and my younger son, Aiden as well as my parents, Larry and Mary and Les, and all my extended family, my friends, supporters, and the many, many volunteers who worked tirelessly with me during a very uh, long and contentious six-month campaign. As I told you all before, I did not win this election, you did, so thank you for that. To the citizens of Jefferson Parish Council District 2, thank you for giving me the privilege and the honor to serve you for the next four years. My commitment to you is to roll up my sleeves every day and go to work and work for you for the next four years, just like I have done in my many capacities with the parish over the last 30 years. To my colleagues on the council, our new parish president, Cynthia Lee Shang, and all the elected officials up here today, congratulations on your election. My commitment to you is to work closely with you during this next four years, even when there are disputes and disagreements to make decisions to find common ground and compromises to move this parish forward and avoid the partisanship and hate that has so divided this country. And lastly, as I stood out in the foyer today, I saw a lot of familiar faces. As many of you all know, in addition to my 30 year professional career with the parish, I serve as a reserve police officer and a volunteer firefighter. And I saw many of our first responders walking in the door today. Thank you for being here and thank you for your service to this parish. You do a wonderful job for us, and we could not be the parish we are without each and every one of you all and your service and commitment to this parish. Thank you. Um, in closing, I have to talk about one more longtime friend, Councilman at Large, Ricky Templet. And when I first met Ricky, he wasn't a councilman. He was doing Hurricane Katrina, myself, Byron Lee, Tommy Capella, we were all living in the EOC because the parish was wiped out. Ricky was our caterer, cooking food for us every day. Thank God we don't have to eat his food anymore, huh, guys? <laughs> Moving right along. Well done, Dino, and congratulations. Uh, Next up is Council District 3, the Honorable Byron Lee. Byron and I served together on the Jefferson Parish Council years ago. Um, he's a tremendous leader and the parish is in good hands. Uh, he's going to be sworn in by his son, Jared Lee. One thing about Byron, he's an avid golfer, but do not bet him because he'll miss every putt to the last hole when the money's double. so that our uh, contractual agreement does stand. We still get allowances after this, You right? get allowances. Yes, right, you do. All right, beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> all right, you ready? Yes. All right. All right, state your name. Well, Byron Lee. <laughs> do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. Or, or affirm. Or 
firm that I will support the Constitution and laws that I will support the Constitution and laws of the United States of the United States and the Constitution and the laws and the Constitution and laws of this state of this state and that I will faithfully and that I will faithfully and impartially and impartially discharge and perform discharge and perform all the duties incumbent on me all the duties incumbent upon me as Jefferson Parish as Jefferson Parish member council member council member of district three. of district 3 according to the best of my ability and understanding and according to the best of my ability and understanding so help me god so help me god we did it we did it <laughs> First of, uh, first of all, I'd like to thank the good Lord for giving me the health and strength to be here today. And uh, thank him for his grace and mercy upon all of those who are here. I, uh, when this election started in District 3, there was 11 candidates. And so I guess that makes me the designated survivor. This is my third time being sworn in, and on this momentous occasion, I thought it would be most appropriate to have my two sons, Jordan, who's my youngest son, who's graduated from college this May, and Jared, my oldest son and firstborn, who some would say is a carbon copy of me. Could you please give them a round of applause? It will be uh, a pleasure again to serve the people of District 3, the district that I love, the district that I grew up in, and one uh, that I believe has the most potential, where there's the most room for developable land for economic development purposes, as well as housing and opportunities for employment. As I look at the future, and as I proclaim a future of success and greatness, it will come because the needs of our citizens in District 3 will have their needs met. In Avondale and Wagman, where there's no grocery store, where you can get fresh fruit or fresh meat, I've already started and will continue to press forward to meet with the developers to ensure that your community is represented with a grocery store, so whereas you don't have to drive 10 to 15 miles just to get groceries. For the residents on the East Bank, here where we stand, where who has unique needs as well, I thank you for your support. I thank you for everything. Thank you for your belief in me. And believe you me, we're gonna work very hard to bring goods and services to District 3 on the East Bank. It's very important and it's very vital that you have grocery stores and that you have new housing opportunities for people who want to live in the district. To my residents in Marrero and Harvey and other parts of the district, just know when I said that the sewer treatment plants in your neighborhood have to, have to go, I am committed to working with my fellow council members and all parties uh, who have an interest in seeing quality of life be improved, that we will do everything we can to find a way to pull the blight of sewer treatment plants out of your neighborhoods. I would like to take this opportunity to ask a group that I've called my A-team to please stand up if you're here. Thank you all so much. I would like to take this opportunity to thank my predecessor, Mark Spears, who's here, who's now Judge Justice of the Peace, as well as my colleagues who are elected officials who supported me, who are elected officials and supported me when I was running. I'd like to thank you all 
for your support and your continued support. I'd like to I'd see some of my minister friends who are here, who stood by me and supported me uh, in the audience. I'd like to thank you all for being here as well. It's important. We have an opportunity in District 3 to change the dynamics, to change the perception, and take things to another level. I'm committed to that. I'm committed to Jefferson Parish because I love Jefferson Parish and I love everything that it stands for. There's opportunity for us to do great things. I'm excited about this council that I will be working with. I'm excited about all of the people on the stage here who serve in different capacities and us coming together and working together to ensure that all the citizens are represented well and the success is shared by all of us in this parish. Last but not least, I'd like to say to my two sons who represent the future, represent my future, I've always told them that no matter how successful I am, if they're not, I have not done my job. I believe that, and so I've asked them to stand with me here today, and I want to let you know that because of you, because of the voters, the belief that you've had in me and because of family members and loved ones who are here, my niece is up, up there, way up in the top, and other family members are here, I will not let you down because I have two sons right here who's going to be looking up to their father and expecting for me to be accountable to not only to you, but also to everyone that I represent in Jefferson Parish. Thank y'all and God bless. Well done, Barton. Danielle, if there's any of those flowers left, I'm in the doghouse at home. Could you leave some out there for me? <laughs> Next up is uh, Council District 4, uh, Councilman Dominic Impostato, who will be the second Rummel Raider on the council, right, with Dino? Sheesh. Raider Pride. Uh, Dominic's going to be sworn in by his brothers, Vincent and Anthony Impostato. I was going to say Fredo and Michael, but... Only make a remark like that if you're the last one to have the mic, Tommy. You don't. I state your name. I, Dominic F. Impostano III, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear that I support the Constitution and laws of the United States. That I support the Constitution and laws of the United States and the laws and the Constitution and laws of this state. And the Constitution and laws of this state. And that I will faithfully and impartially. And that I will faithfully and impartially. Discharge and perform. Discharge and perform. All the duties incumbent on me. All the duties incumbent upon me. As councilman for the 4th District of Jefferson Parish. As councilman for the 4th District of Jefferson Parish. According to the best of my ability and understanding. According to the best of my ability and understanding. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations, brother. <laughs> Six years ago, uh, when I was elected to the Kenner Council, uh, I think I thanked 112 different people and forgot my wife. So, as I've been known to make a lot of mistakes, and I do every day, one thing I promise I'll never make the same mistake twice. So we're going to start by thanking the person who is a freshman in college for reasons that are still left to be, un left to be explained. Uh, she, and I think at the blessing of Bob and Sharon Whitman, uh, agreed to embark upon a life of conflict, chaos, and extraordinary costs. <laughs> and as a result, I'm able to stand here today uh, for our re-election and uh, pay a tribute to the life that we've had for the last 20 years. So Shannon, thank you for being our rock and, uh, and for the wonderful life that we have. <laughs> And 
And to my kids, Dominic, my favorite daughter, Mia, and Joseph, who one day when I get gray hair will be the cause of all of it. <clears throat> all you guys need to know is every day I go to work and do whatever I do, whether it's in my law firm or in this, and my goal is one, is to make sure that you're proud of who your dad is. <laughs> so love you guys. Um, it's fitting that my two brothers uh, swore me in. That's no coincidence. Uh, from the day that we were born, I can promise you each of us was ingrained with the philosophy in our household by my mother and father that every dream we ever had, anything we ever wanted in life, whether it was love, whether it was financial success, whether it was convincing more than 50% of the people in a small pocket of Jefferson Parish to vote for you, that the key to any one of those was going to be the three of us locking arm in arm and committing to each other that uh, nothing could break the bond that we have. So that's why, that's why they're here. And today, every time I touch a microphone and I get an opportunity to say thank you to somebody, to celebrate a victory, to thank someone for an opportunity bestowed upon me, it's a testament to the family that we were raised in and that we were raised the right way with the right beliefs and the right convictions and the right loyalty to one another. One of the principles that we were, that we were taught uh, from my father was, you're only as good as the people around you. And he'd say, son, you know, there's two ways to be successful. You can either go get it in your own right by yourself or you can do it the easy way. Go find a bunch of really successful people and get them to be willing to associate with you. <laughs> build, build people around you who you think are better than you are, who make you a better man, who challenge you when you need to be challenged. And so as much as I'd like to sit here and talk about the things that we've got going on in District 4 so over the last two years and for the next four, the largest capital investment by Jefferson Parish into the city of Kenner in history, the 50 plus million dollars of infrastructure improvements that are starting now and will continue for the next four years in District 4, the largest upgrades in Lafreniere Park's history. I can't talk about that with talking about the team that got us to this point, that got us reelected and gave us an opportunity for the next four years to make a difference. It started on October 12th of 2017, two short years ago, when Precinct 001 posted, and I ran across my living room and grabbed, <clears throat> who has become my mentor, Jefferson Parish Government Hall of Famer Mike Quigley. And I hugged him, crying a lot more than I'm crying now. Yes, the big teddy bear cries. Um, and I said, Mike, we made a lot of commitments. I made a lot of promises. I can't deliver them unless you help make it happen. I need you to be my rock. I need you to run our office. I need you to help me show the public that we can get it done. And I said, I'm gonna need 60 hours a week minimum. I'm gonna need nights, I'm gonna need weekends, I'm gonna need holidays, even working on Washington's birthday and Jefferson's birthday, maybe even. And I need it all. I need you all in all the time. And I looked up what the job pays everybody else in that job, Mike. So I made him an offer he couldn't refuse. We're gonna pay you 50% of what everybody else makes. <laughs> every benefit every other parish employee gets, you get none of. <laughs> Lo and behold, the idiot took it. <laughs> he came back two days later with a condition. He said, I can't do this unless you can find a way to get Brenda Campos on board. If Mike's a Hall of Famer, let's say Brenda was a Pro Bowl selection uh, in Jefferson Parish government. And we looked at the legislative scheme and the way the council was set up and said, there's just no way to do it. So as I've been known to do over the last five or six years, I sought out my chief political advisor, my dear friend, some people say maybe my, the sister that I never had, soon to be known as honorable, she is, uh, Miss Debbie Villio. And she said, hold on a minute, there's a way to do this. All you gotta do is change the law, <laughs> uh, as every good elected official does, right? And uh, so we came up with a scheme that not only was good for the council, was good for our office, but saved the taxpayers money in the balance. And we came up a way, with a way to get it done. And because of that, we were able to hit the ground running, moving at lightning speed, taking on initiatives that, frankly, we even thought at times were impossible. And we believe over the next four years, we're going to see are going to be a reality. And what it allowed us to do is take that team and take those pieces of the puzzle and add to it. Annie Cardwell, Sherry Giovingo, my oftentimes stunt double, Jason Ural, the big U. And 
whose primary role was to focus on constituent contact, outreach to civic associations, and visibility like we had never seen before. And with those pieces together, we've gotten where we are. And we got another four years opportunity to make a difference in this parish. But there was one rule that Jefferson Parish government has that we all know. You could be a genius. You could have the greatest plan, the greatest initiative, the greatest ideas in the world. And unless you can get four people in those council chambers to think it's an okay idea, it ain't nothing better than scratch paper. <laughs> well, thankfully, we started out Councilman Spears, Councilman Johnston, who had signed on a dotted line to help us get an opportunity to sit in this very seat, who pledged their support and delivered their support from the day we touched uh, this office and supported those initiatives. Interim Councilman Conley, who was on the streets with us to get us in this spot and delivered his support every time he had a chance on the council dais. My friend who did sit and will continue to sit to my left on the council chambers, in the council chambers, Councilwoman Van Franken, who she and her husband, uh, Steve, sweat, <laughs> bled, <laughs> and cried on the streets more days than I think they care to admit to help us get a chance to make a difference. Pledged their support and delivered it every time District 4 needed it. So we had four votes, but that wasn't enough, and that's not what we were left with. Because starting the day after we were elected, we got an outreach and open arms starting with Councilman Ricky Template. I think he might have woken Shannon and I up at 6 a.m. the morning after the election, <laughs> banging on the door. Then Councilwoman Lee Shang, soon to be Parish President Lee Shang, and former Councilman Chris Roberts, each of whom from day one pledged their assistance, their support, and more importantly, their friendship to us. And I can say more than their pledge, every single time District 4 asked for it in the last two years, they delivered without question. So needless to say, it was easy to get things done when you've got that kind of unity, that kind of harmony, that kind of delivery of support from your friends and colleagues around you. And I'm proud to say that I believe in the last two years I've been part of a council that showed more unity and more harmony than this parish council had seen in a long, long time. My pledge to my incoming colleagues, Councilman, I think, is that the bell telling me to stop? Uh, doesn't matter, I ignore those kind of things all the time. Uh, but uh, as my colleagues can attest, Councilman Walker, Councilman, and Councilman Judge Edwards, I'm still gonna call you judge because like I said, you have the legal right to sanction me in a court of law, so you're still gonna be judge. Um, Councilman Bonanno, my friend and ally and colleague, Councilman Lee, and of course, continued commitment to Councilman Template, Councilman Van Franken, and Parish President Lee Shang. My pledge is to make sure that if I have anything to do with it, these next four years will be marked in Jefferson Parish Council history as one of cohesion, collaboration, and a commitment to excellence. And I have the utmost belief with my heart and my soul that if we all commit to it and we all deliver on it, we got a chance to make history. And I'm proud to be a part of it. Thank all of you for being here. Well done, Dom. And now for Council District 5, the Honorable Jennifer Van Vranken will be sworn in by her husband, Attorney Stephen Dwyer. Jennifer graduated with my wife from high school, so out of deference to both of them, I will not tell you how old they are. Tommy knows I know dirt since high school, so the jokes are short. <laughs> Congratulations, and give my best to your husband. <laughs> he said to tell you he loves you very much. Love you, baby. I, Jennifer Van Branken. I, Jennifer Van Branken. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution and laws of the United States. That I will support the Constitution and laws of the United States. And the Constitution and laws of this state. And the Constitution and laws of this state. And that I will faithfully and impartially. And that I will faithfully and impartially. Discharge and perform. Discharge and perform. All the duties incumbent upon me. 
all the duties incumbent upon me. As Councilwoman for District 5. As Councilwoman for District 5. According to the best of my ability and understanding. According to the best of my ability and understanding. So help me God. So help me God. Kiss the Councilwoman. Who put that there? <laughs> <laughs> I might have put that note. Thank you all. Um, my mom and dad, Johnny and Valerie, started the balcony 45 years ago? 45 years ago today. They are the people who modeled for me the kind of hard work day in and day out uh, that makes me able to be successful at this job. And so I'm so appreciative uh, to Vanessa and Jay, my brother and sister, who are at the balcony every day. Um, they became my campaign consultants, my, my sign uh, team, and everything else. So thank you for sidetracking your day jobs uh, to make this one possible for me. And Matt, for being supportive. Welcome to the family and to all the craziness that comes with it. Um, and to my husband, I could not and would not take on this job without the kind of partner that he is in my life in everything that we have done together. And so um, thank you for being my rock um, every day of the week. Thank you. <clears throat> there was um, an ad, a television ad during my campaign and it depicted me sitting there with a the little bluebird on my shoulder and the sun shining and the cheery music is playing. And of course my opponent came up with some ridiculous untrue reason why I was happy. But the happiness part, the joy about doing this job, that was 100% true. Serving as a district councilwoman, uh, to me it's as close as you can get to the people that you serve. And for that reason, it is endlessly fulfilling. Um, when Judge Liljeburg mentioned that Scott Walker was hoping the district council person would have moved along, that was me. <laughs> so I'm, I'm glad to have the opportunity to work with Scott in this capacity because um, what fuels me every day, uh, it's the things that we've been able to do, but the things that we have yet to do in this position. And so I wanted to stay where I, where I was in District 5, wanted to be able to finish the things that we have started um, because that truly is my passion. And so I'm so appreciative to have this opportunity to remain the District 5 Councilwoman, continuing to work with my colleagues on the council, both old and new, and uh, our parish president, um, who I'm tremendously excited uh, to see be as successful as I know she will be. In our first term, we did not let moss grow under our feet. Um, we were the first uh, in Jefferson Parish to start painting those traffic light boxes to beautify our neutral grounds. We created a matching fund to partner with our civic groups so that we could buy crime cameras and along with the Jefferson Parish Sheriff's Office, put those in our neighborhoods to make sure that we're all the more safe. We were the first uh, in the state to create a do not toss list to keep those unwanted newspapers from getting tossed on your lawn. We pulled together a community vision for Bucktown and all the wonderful recreational things that it can be. We started driving pilings, uh, in fact, just a few months ago on an educational boardwalk out at Lake Pontchartrain. And we're working with our colleagues in New Orleans, I saw some of them here, um, to bring back the West End area that's been uh, desolate for too long. We secured millions in grant funds also to make a more resilient shoreline along Lake Pontchartrain. <clears throat> I don't know what the humming is, but um, we brought change to Carnival. That is one of the, the things that uh, is, is part of our culture and heritage. And so we've been so glad that this year, uh, all of our crews unanimously chose to roll the new route that we have uh, that will end in Clearview Center. Um, several of those uh, are moving to um, the Family Raw weekend. And so we're really excited about the energy and um, uh, changes that we have in Carnival. In fact, we'll have three new crews rolling the route this year. I may just take one of these. Might make the, the electronics simpler. 
Um, we found an exciting new home for Family Gras, and that festival continues to grow, and this gives it room to grow and expand. We created a family-friendly uh, event, Mardi Gras 5K, um, and we helped put uh, a fresh face on an effort that Cynthia Lee Shang started. Um, all the changes that you see in Fat City, we were able to put a fresh face on a lot of the old buildings there, and that is an effort uh, that we will continue. We transformed an old open drainage ditch and canal in a neighborhood into a linear park. We renovated the old Metairie Library, Johnny Bright Gym, Glendale Park, and Cleary Gyms. We replaced an inefficient bus route with the innovative curb-to-curb -curb service from Lyft. So that's not all we've done in this four years, but it's those kinds of things that we want to continue. And we are midstream on so many important things. Right now we're in the final stages of approval on um, some new pump stations that we will be building at Veterans in the 17th Street Canal. We're about to begin major drainage improvements along Airline Highway and the Geisenheimer um, and through Old Metairie. Uh, for the first time in decades, we're going to be improving that causeway traffic circle and the overpass at causeway. We're designing a bike path that's going to connect our river levee to our lake levee and have pedestrian crossings over airline and veterans. Those are the things that we are excited about. An innovation like the first in the nation, uh, an app that will tell us when the trains are headed to the crossing near you. So hopefully you can avoid it. I um, hope you've gotten by now the kind of energy, the kind of passion, the kind of progress that we have made and will continue to make. I want to thank my staff who are here in the audience, um, Sharon Anderson and Michelle Arteague and Jeff Simno, who were with me at the parish president's office previously, who bring uh, a wealth of knowledge and experience, as well as Francesca Blanchard, Allison Happel, and Giselle Vandervoort. I could not do this job without them. We are the only district that has uh, 100,000 people that call uh, our office and our office alone. There's no municipality in District 5. So I am so thankful to the hardworking staff that I have who uh, make this job possible and successful. Thank you so much. Um, thank you for God and all the voters uh, it, of our parish who have allowed me this opportunity. We will work hard over the next four years to make you proud. Thank you. See what happens when you talk for three hours, Ricky? Break the microphone. <laughs> that concludes uh, our presentation. Oh, I'm sorry, Cynthia, right? <laughs> uh, and finally today, uh, to be sworn in as parish president, for the first time, a female in our parish, Cynthia Lee Shang. Isn't that fantastic, y'all? Cynthia will be sworn in by now District Councilman and former Judge Marion Edwards, retired judge, Louisiana Fifth Circuit Court of Appeal. I had the honor of working with Cynthia when I was on the council. She is fantastic. The voters made a really, really good choice, and we're looking forward to great things to come. So, Judge, could you get her sworn in, please? You know, Cynthia, this is the only time I've done this without a robe on, except when I swore your dad in years ago. Please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, Cynthia Lee Shing. I, Cynthia Lee Shang. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution and laws of the United States. That I will support the Constitution and laws of the United States. And the Constitution and laws of this state. And the Constitution and laws of this state. And that I will faithfully and impartially discharge and perform. And that I will faithfully and impartially discharge and perform. All the duties incumbent upon me. All the duties incumbent upon me. 
As parish president for the parish of Jefferson. As parish president for the parish of Jefferson. According to the best of my ability and understanding. According to the best of my ability and understanding. So help me God. So help me God. Ladies and gentlemen, it is with incredible pride that I present to you our new parish president, Cynthia Lee Shing. Thank you. Councilman, um, I'm at a loss for words. I, we never would have believed this would have happened, that you and I would have served together. And he told me this morning, which he never told me before, um, the councilman and I, um, for those of you who don't know, have been in each other's lives for a very long time through my father, that he held me as a baby. So we have known each other for a very, very long time. Um, and I, I, I am so uh, looking forward to serving with all of you. Um, I, I have so many people to thank, and um, it's incredible to me that I just took this oath of office, and this day is, it means so much to me. Um, to the people of Jefferson Parish for electing me and believing in me and for allowing me to serve for, for the past 10 years and for letting me take this new role that I've always said where my skill set and where my mind would always wander to was the operational side of the house. So I have had more fun in the past couple weeks than I have had in 10 years because this is the type of work that I love and it's such an incredible opportunity that you have given me. To the countless supporters and the people who helped me in the campaign and for us to be victorious on October 12th, it was a long campaign and I couldn't have done it without all of those people who believed in me. And for my staff, who is my work family, we've been together for 10 years, um, they make me look good and I know they are ready for this next challenge. Um, my beautiful mom, who has gone through another year of campaigning with me in asking for sign locations and writing postcards and going to all the endorsements in the forums. Um, you guys don't know, but basically, she's been in Jefferson Parish politics for 40 years, if you think about it, um, whether she wanted to or not. She has been the consistent support uh, for everything, but through all the campaigns and all the politics for my dad, and now, of course, I'm asking her to continue with me, and in my whole life, I do not ever remember hearing one complaint, so uh, I love her and I thank her for that. And then these other two uh, little kids behind me that are not so little in, anymore, my kids, G&M, Gavin and Miranda, um, you're the inspiration, you're the reason, um, that I try to live a strong life, and I hope that I'm that for you. Um, before we started on this endeavor, I, I don't think I've ever told you this, that you said, you know, I, I, I talked to them very seriously individually, and I said, where we are with this, I don't have to make a living this way, I can do something else. And they both looked at me with such resolve, and they said, go for it. And uh, I wouldn't be here today if I didn't get their permission first, so I wanna thank them for their love. And many of you know I got two great, great, great men up above that are looking down on, on me today. I know with a big, big smile on their face. Uh, one who would never have believed it and one who was pushing for it for, for before I would have believed it. My late father, Sheriff Harry Lee, and my late husband, Stuart Shang. Um, the gratefulness, even if I wouldn't have won this election, it was a strange thing this past year. I felt their presence with me at all times. I felt it in a, in a, in a strange way that it's inexplicable. And I always said, even if, I, if I'm not successful in the campaign, I'm grateful for that feeling for this past year. And I have so many members of my extended family here today, um, uh, but two people I wanna call out uh, in particular. My best friend, Constance. We've been together since eighth grade. And um, 
I couldn't have done anything without you, Con. So thank you for always being there with me. And um, <laughs> and the and the new chapter in my life, Elias Daher, for your love and for your constant support, and both of you for always having my back. So thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> I, as um. Uh, Mr. Gegenheimer said, we can't really see anything, but I'm told that there are members um, of some New Orleans council members here, and I want to thank you for being here. Um, I know your schedules are busy, um, but it's important, and it's symbolic, and I want to thank you for giving us your time and, and for you welcoming in our newest Jefferson Parish elected officials. And I know so many of them, and I feel, I feel it, and we've, we've spoken with all of us. We feel like it's a, the dawn of a new day. And um, we look forward to bringing this home with you. And I want to thank Mike Yenny for a smooth transition. He has been wonderful. Um, in many of our public events together, he would say, you're with the X and the next. And um, I want to thank him for that, because it, it was the smoothest transition it could be. Throughout our campaign, I was reminded of the possibility of being the first woman parish president elected in nearly our 200-year uh, history. And I sense this excitement from men and women alike, from all different races, and from all across our great parish. And I'm humbled by this historic election. And making history in this way only strengthens my resolve to really make a difference. A new decade brings a new opportunity for, for growth as a parish and a region, where we work together as an East Bank and as a West Bank, not divided by a river, but united by a spirit to achieve. When we join forces with Orleans Parish to become the core with the surrounding parishes of a true regional economy and become one of the strongest forces in the South. Can you imagine that? And I want to get a little personal here about one Saturday night a long, long time ago. Many of you know that my grandfather opened the House of Lee Restaurant on Veterans Boulevard, and I know I've sat many of you have at our tables in the 1980s. But one Saturday night when I was little, I was about 10 or 11, my Uncle Davis, who's in Paris or London, living the life right now, told me that he would pay me $2 to make drinks for the waitresses. It was a busy Saturday night. Imagine the hustle and bustle in the, in the kitchen of a busy Chinese restaurant on a Saturday night. We would have lines waiting, and the waitresses would just simply yell, I need three Cokes, I need four 7-Ups. And I would struggle to keep up, picking up a glass, scooping it with ice, and then making these drinks. And even though I had grown up in that restaurant my whole life, that night was so very different for me. I, I have to say it was almost like it was magical. I looked at everybody running around. I, I just, something different happened. But I realized, looking back so many years later, that experience for me that night was the first night that I became part of a team. People were expecting something of me. They were expecting me to keep these drink orders moving. I had a contribution to make, and it was the first time, I think, that I recall feeling I had self-worth. Since that time, I have loved work, and I know that serving sodas and soft drinks is not the same as being the parish president, but what that, I learned that night always stayed with me. You can achieve so much more, so much more by working together and have, as Tommy Capella said, and have fun in the process. We have spent the past few weeks assembling our team, a new administration, and I'd like to ask them now, we have not met as a group yet, but I'd like to ask them now all to please stand up because I want the people to see our new administration. So these folks, thank you, these folks, this incredible combination of personnel with with deep institutional knowledge, and also recruited some people from the outside with incredible new talent. I can't wait for you to meet them. And many of people, this was the best part of this process. Many of you didn't even know I was going to tap you for a leadership position, and I didn't know I was going to tap you for a leadership position, because in so many of those positions, I asked around, and I said, who's the worker bee? Who's the, the one that's working hard? Who's the one that's respected? And in many cases, I would call them in and i say, I need you to step up for me. I need you to be this director. I need you to be the supervisor. And they would look at me with shock. They said, I, I thought I was in trouble. I thought that's why you called me up here. 
But that's what we're about. We're, I'm going to ask you to create an environment where the 3,000 employees can just simply do their best work. That's all it is. It's very simple. It's not only about productivity. It's not only about efficiency. It's about asking ourselves the question time and time again, how can we make the biggest impact? We have organized, we have reorganized the organization chart. And not only does it look different, it went from rectangles to circles, and it's a pretty color. That's not what it's about. It's about grouping folks in functional lines and, and enabling new lines of communication so we have an easier path for innovation. That's all that's about. We've created new positions, a senior services, a senior citizen services coordinator and a cross-cultural coordinator to make sure that all of our citizens feel that their government is accessible. And look forward to us making the most use of technology and innovation. I'd like to close by congratulating our newly elected council. And you can see how we're, and all the other elected officials in Jefferson Parish, you can see how we seated. And when the curtains were closed before, I looked around and I'm like, wow, I feel like I'm on that Disney World ride soaring. And we're about to take up and our feet are about to dangle. And Scott Walker's like, hold on for the ride. And that's what it feels like. It feels like, hold on for the ride. I personally know everybody up here. And I can personally tell you that everybody's in it for the right reason. Everybody has good intentions, so it should be an incredible ride. Our administration looks forward to working with all of you. We look forward to serving the great citizens of Jefferson Parish. And I promise that I will be honest, I will be fair, and I will lead with integrity. Thank you so much for giving me this opportunity. God bless the great Jefferson Parish. Thank you. That will conclude the swearing in portion, but it's now my honor to introduce Reverend Dr. Keith Paul Stuman, pastor for the Evening Star Baptist Church for our benediction. Good morning, I ask that we would all stand please. Now may the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ rest, rule, and abide until we meet again. Let us all respond by saying, Amen. Amen. You may be seated. <laughs> I told the pastor he had to make up some time for some of the speakers. I'm just kidding. Well done. And listen, a personal congratulations again to our very, very wonderful group of elected officials. The voters have chosen well. It's going to be a really great time to be in our parish. One more round of applause for all of these great people up here. Okay, that will conclude our presentation today. If you all would keep your seats, if you'd like, there's going to be a very brief council meeting right behind me. The curtains will close. They'll move to the dais uh, for a very, their first council meeting. But in the interim, while we're changing a few seats out, uh, please be join us and, and Miss Valerie Ann Jones Francis, DMA, the Assistant Professor of Music at Nickel State University for a uh, patriotic melody. And thank you all for coming again. Make somebody smile today. Thank you.
Reverend Thomas Brown on piano. Good morning, everyone. We're going to bring this council meeting to order. Today is January 8, 2020, Wednesday. We're located at the Jefferson Performing Arts Center at 6400 Airline Drive, Metairie, Louisiana. Madam Clerk, would you please call the roll call? Councilman Template? Present. Councilman Walker? Present. Councilman Edwards? Present. Councilman Bonanno? Present. Councilman Lee. Here. Councilman Impostato. Present. Councilwoman Van Rankin. Present. Parish President Ms. Lee Shang. Present. Chief Operating Officer Mr. LeChute. Present. And I've completed the roll. Okay. Any persons wishing to appear before the council regarding resolutions uh, on the agenda, please step up. Being none, Madam Clerk, would you please read item number one. A resolution electing Mr. Ricky J. Template, the chairman of the Jefferson Parish Council, in accordance with section 2.06A of the Jefferson Parish Charter. Mr. Chairman, I would like to make a joint motion on behalf of the, my colleagues, if everyone's fine with that. Yeah. So move. Second. Okay. Uh, on, on, on a joint motion, a resolution adjo adopted with no opposition. Congrats. Thank you. Congrats. Madam Cl <laughs> yeah, you can applaud. <laughs> Madam Clerk, would you please read item number two? A resolution electing Ms. Jennifer Van Rankin, the Vice Chairwoman of the Jefferson Parish Council in accordance with section 2.06A of the Jefferson Parish Charter. Again, I'll move for a joint motion on behalf of the entire council. Second. Okay, so with no objection to the adoption of the resolution, motion granted. Thank you. Madam Clerk, could you please read item number three? A resolution appointing Mrs. Eula A. Lopez, the parish clerk of the Jefferson Parish Council in accordance with section 2.06B of the Jefferson Parish Charter. I move the adoption. Second. With no objections, the, it is adopted, the resolution um, move, we shall move forward. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Can we have a joint uh, motion for adjournment? Move. Second. Move by Councilman so Byron Lee, second by Dino. Uh, Councilman Dino Bonanno. All those concur? All right. We're adjourned. <laughs> Good first right. meeting. Councilman Lee right. and Banano. Why are you laughing?